Joining us is Max Steffes with the Steffes Group. Let's talk a little bit about the fall land market. We have seen a lot of uncertainty with the trade war continuing. It's been a horrible, historically slow harvest. And really, you guys have stayed very strong with the market, though, haven't you? Yeah, we really have. You know, in spite of a near impossible harvest for uh, some crops here in the Red River Valley, uh, the market's been surprisingly strong, stable, and predictable. Um, so that's good and, and an otherwise uncertain ag economy. It's good to see that strength. So what do you think it is that has actually helped keep that land market so stable here this fall? You know, there's still uh, good equity in the, the agriculture uh, sector, uh, primarily on the farm farmland side of things. When there's a good piece of land that comes up for sale, uh, there's many producers in the agriculture space uh, that are still in a good position to borrow money to purchase that piece that they desire. Maybe a piece that's across the road that they've been driving by since they were a boy. Um, they're still in a very good position to be aggressive and purchase that farm. And as a result of that, we've seen some robust and strong sales, um, primarily on the quality farmland. Max, you do have some really good examples, though, of some of the sales results that you've had. In the last four months, we've sold 12,000 acres in five states. Uh, most recently here in the valley, we sold 827 acres uh, near the Oxbow Hickson area, 5,100 was the average, with some farmland tracks selling as high as 56. There were several development tracks that uh, brought uh, close to one track brought $27,000 an acre. Um, good uh, interest, strong interest in bidding from both farmers and investors. And the machinery market has also stayed very strong too, hasn't it? Yes, there again, surprisingly stable and predictable, mostly on the, uh, I'm going to say, pieces that are under $100,000. Um, we talk about equipment uh, developing a pedigree nowadays. And if we get uh, a farm retirement or an estate type situation sale, auction sale, where we can uh, have that equipment on that farm, and it's a well cared for farm, that equipment's had a good home, um, watch out. Those pieces are selling very, very well. So Max, if folks are thinking about an auction, either land or machinery, what is it that sets you guys apart? You know, one thing I would say would be footprint. And when it comes to agricultural auction companies, the Steffes Group, first of all, has been in the business since 1960, but we have one of the largest footprints. And from that footprint comes some of the uh, largest database of known buyers, both when it comes to tillable farm acreage and also farm equipment. So if people want more information, you guys have a fantastic website. Yeah, steffesgroup.com. There's a wonderful uh, plethora of information when it comes to market results on farmland and farm equipment. And uh, we'd encourage um, people to go there and uh, take a look at that recent land sale that was in your neighborhood. We publish all the results there. And also maybe if you've got a piece of equipment that you're considering selling, uh, steffesgroup.com is a wonderful resource to give you some comparable sales, to give you some indication of what that piece might bring. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, Max Steffes joining us with the Steffes Group.